Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube Devourer here? Today we are going over the top five best class setups to be using inside Modern Warfare. These class setups will work inside Search and Destroy, and they will also work inside regular respawn modes as well. To keep everything moving as quickly as possible, we will show a few kills with the weapon, show the nuke, and then we'll get right into the class setup. And everything today will be time coded. So if you just have a specific class setup that you want, go ahead and check the timeline down below skip to it make sure nobody's wasting any time if you guys have no idea what to comment go ahead and drop a lana Rhodes in the comments down below for the boys for the algorithm and if i did happen to miss any class setups that you think are really good make sure you comment that in the comments down below as well as you guys can see our very first weapon is the mp5 as soon as this nuke is finished then we're gonna go over the class setup this thing is just insane guys in my opinion the mp5 has the best and smoothest movement in the entire game and the time to kill is just insane and with this class setup in particular you're gonna be running around gunning people with absolutely zero recoil and that's exactly what we want all right, hopping right into the class setup, we have the Monolithic Integral Suppressor up first. This is going to give you sound suppression and bullet velocity. Now, bullet velocity is how quickly your bullets hit the enemy. So basically, it makes your gun kill faster. And the sound suppression is going to keep us off the radar. So people never know where we're at and it suppresses our shots. Makes it a little bit harder to find out where we're at. Then we have the FTAC Collapsible Stock. This is going to give you movement speed and aim down sight speed. In my opinion, this is one of the most important attachments. When you use this attachment, it gives you the best movement in the entire game. Sleight of hand, that way we can reload really quickly the 10 millimeter auto 30 round mags but you can also use the 45 round mags as well either one is really good just to let you know the 10 millimeter auto 30 round mags does have more recoil but it is going to kill just slightly ever so slightly a little bit faster but if you want absolutely zero recoil go with the 45 round mags and then for this uh, specific build with the 10 millimeter round mags I recommend using the Ranger foregrip it's gonna give you greater recoil control than the Merc foregrip and the aiming stability really helps that your mp5 doesn't sway back and forth it keeps your aim perfectly on target but the Merc foregrip is good as well up next we do have the Uzi guys I like to call this gun kind of like the king of hybridness just because depending upon how you build it and with this particular build the Uzi kills like a very 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 good submachine gun up close but it also hits super hard like an assault rifle from over 30 40 meters away especially if you're using this build in particular you have the gi mini reflex on there that way you can hit shots from really far away like that 31 meter long shot and you'll have absolutely zero recoil i think a lot of people make the mistake of putting a no stock attachment on their uzi but the uzi has one of the best time to kills even at like 30 meters away as you guys can see these people are just getting absolutely destroyed i think a lot of people go wrong on their uzi by not having the special ammunition and not having the barrel unlocked i I know it's kind of a pain in the ass to unlock the ammunition and the barrel but it is one million percent worth it as you guys can see we're just absolutely dropping kids off this gun is perfect up close and very far away and as long as you're not using the no stock attachment because the no stock attachment adds 46 percent recoil to your uzi then your uzi is just going to be a straight laser beam with no with no foregrip whatsoever the uzi is just a beamer definitely one of my favorite guns super op definitely known inside the meta of search and destroy as well all right hopping right into the class setup up first we have the tactical suppressor now you can totally use the monolithic suppressor if you want it's just with this specific build the monolithic suppressor is not needed the only difference between the monolithic and the tactical is the monolithic is going to give you more damage range but it's going to slow your aim down sight speed time a lot and it's going to slow your ads walking speed as well so you just don't need that you don't need the extra damage range and the reason why you don't need the extra damage range is because we've got the fss carbine pro barrel on there with damage range bullet velocity and recoil control we got the gi mini reflex i think this is super important with anybody that's using a uzi the uzi has such fantastic range at 30 40 even 50 meters away you can kill people really fast but you got to be able to see that far away you just can't do that with the uzi's iron sights unfortunately they are dog shit in my opinion then we got the stipple grip tape for aim down sight speed straight to fire speed and then lastly we got the 0.41 ae 32 round mags for damage and range now again this attachment and the the barrel need to be unlocked by doing special challenges make sure you guys just sit down grind it out it should take less than an hour get it done with this with this attachment and the barrel you have all the damage range you could possibly need up next we do have the m4 a1 guys this gun right here just an absolute 
Beamer. And the way we built it as well, it's very aggressive for up close combat. That way it's not just like specifically just an assault rifle. It does have the capability to slide cancel around a corner and kill somebody two feet away that has an MP5 in their hand. But as you guys can see, this bad boy right here has absolutely zero recoil. This is probably my most used gun besides the mp5 when i was just grinding out shipment and stuff like that but in search and destroy this gun always comes in clutch like, it's just so dependable so reliable super low recoil he's gonna pull up on this guy he's i don't know what he's doing over here that's crazy <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and inspect the weapon as soon as we finish calling in the nuke we're gonna go ahead and get right into the class setup but again this is probably the most dependable most reliable gun and I think everybody levels up their M4 and their Kilo first, probably, so I'm, I'm confident that a lot of you guys have this gun maxed out already. Hoppy right into the gun class setup. We have the monolithic suppressor. That's going to give us sound suppression and damage range. One thing that the monolithic suppressor doesn't say on this list, it actually increases your bullet velocity also, so it makes your bullets hit the target a little bit faster. Then we got the Corvus Custom Marksman Barrel. A lot of people like to use the stock M16 Grenadier Barrel. Now, if you're in Warzone, that's definitely the barrel you want to be using, but as far as uh, multiplayer engagements the majority of your kills are going to be under 40 meters you want to make sure you're using the corvus custom marksman again it's just going to have a lot better movement speed and ads speed than the grenadier barrel is going to have and then much like the uzi we're using the forge tac cqs stock instead of the no stock if you do use the no stock on there yes you get to zoom in a lot faster you get to move a little bit faster but you're going to add over 40 percent recoil to your m4 so it's a give and take it's up to you we got the stipple grip tape on there for aim down sight speed and straight to fire speed and then the 50 round mags I find the 50 round max to just be perfect. You can take out an entire five man by using the 50 and uh, you know 60 I think is a little bit overkill. Again, it's gonna slow down your ADS a little bit, but totally up to you. Moving into our next gun, we have the SPR. This thing is just unfair, guys. I don't really use it that often, but as you guys can see like from the streak that we're about to go on, it's just absolutely disgusting, guys. I don't think I get not one single hit marker either. And I have all the fastest ADS attachments on there that way I'm able to compete with any gun that's that's firing at me if they're shooting me with an AMAX and AS bow and MP5 it doesn't matter the SPR has the capability to zoom in fast enough to out kill them because it is a one shot kill and as you guys can see we're getting absolutely zero hit markers i think the biggest mistake that people make when they're building their spr class is that they just don't have the right attachments on there and then a lot of people like to put a big barrel on their spr but for multiplayer again you just don't need that if you're gonna hop into warzone yeah you're gonna want the biggest barrel on there that way you get the best bullet velocity and you get like the least amount of bullet drop but while we're in multiplayer again the vast majority of your kills is going to be under 40 meters and while we're under 40 meters the smallest barrel that we have with the SPR is more than good enough and gives you the best ADS speed. So again, hopping right into the build, we have the ZLR ASP. This is going to give you aim down sight speed and movement speed. Like I said, the biggest the biggest thing I see people doing wrong is they add on all these other barrels and it just makes your, your sniper so, so, so slow. You don't want that. You want to be able to ADS as fast as possible. We got the tactical laser on there to ADS fast. Then we have the Solo Zero SPR 28mm. This is essentially the sniper scope. If you want to be super despicable, you can just walk around with the iron sights if you wanted to, too. Me, I'm better with the sniper scope. XRK SP Light 208 Blitz. This is the most important attachment on your SPR. You need to make sure you have it because it gives you sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed and aim walking movement speed. Then lastly, we got the Lapua mag, the 5R mags. Now, if you compare this magazine to the other two magazines, this is the only magazine that increases your damage. As you guys noticed in the clips that I showed you, I didn't get not one single hit marker and the vast majority of the kills was not headshots. So you want to make sure you have that exact build on there. If you have it, it is a beamer. Up next, you guys can see we have the big daddy himself the cr56 a mox a a max whatever you want to call it this gun is insane the time to kill this gun has actually been nerfed like two or three times i don't know if you guys know this but the time to kill on the a max is just absolutely still insane especially as long as you have the biggest barrel on there i think that's the biggest mistake i see some people doing is they don't have the biggest barrel on the a max the biggest barrel on the a max gives you the best iron sights as well so then you don't need to use a gi mini reflex or you don't need to use an optic or anything i can't believe that guy tried to kill me while we're calling a nuke that's crazy the disrespect man see me personally 
I wouldn't accept that level of disrespect. That's why I had to shoot him up with the aim axe. You know what I mean? It is what it is. As soon as this nuke finishes up, we're gonna hop right to the gun class setup, bros. So up first, we do have the monolithic suppressor. Again, that's gonna increase your bullet velocity so your bullets hit a little bit faster. It's gonna keep us off the radar and it's going to increase your damage range. Up next, we have what I consider to be the most important attachment on the aim axe, the XRK Zodiac barrel. It's gonna give you damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. And what it doesn't mention is it gives you the sexiest iron sights these iron sights are so good so crispy so clean you do not need a sight with them at all then we got the cr56 exo stock for aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed if you want to be super cracked and you're not worried about recoil you totally can go with the no stock but if you're gonna go no stock i would just go with the submachine gun instead we got the xrk cr56 stippled wrap so stippled grip tape aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed and lastly we got the commando foregrip for recoil stabilization and aiming stability this is going to make your amax a complete laser beam it will not move the recoil is just non-existent and lastly i just have some god tier class setups and some honorable mentions for you guys this is a frangible disabling as valve. this is going to make the enemy extremely mad do not use this on your friends use that on people you hate and then the cx9 a lot of people call this a pocket AS valve, so it's going to be really good, super fast time to kill exactly like the AS valve as well. If you guys did happen to enjoy this video, make sure you guys kill that like button. And if you guys want to see videos like this on Modern Warfare 2022, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button with the bell notification on, as I will be delivering these type of videos in Modern Warfare 2022 as well. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. GG's guys. I love y'all. Devour out. I think I'll change brown cause when the bitches hear this they're gonna be like Wow <laughs> uh, Smoking gas living fast wearing velvet yeah. Looks like a four